Espéreme que estoy en una conferencia de prensa ahorita, luego hablamos. If 30-year-old Honduran refugee José Luis Hernández had his way, his fellow Central Americans would stop migrating to the U.S. He discussed this desire with three other dismembered migrants at a press conference held at San Diego's nonprofit Border Angels. Build a wall. In a way, he's like millions of Americans concerned about illegal immigration, who support proposals to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. But Hernandez thinks the U.S. has failed to stop illegal immigration so far because it has failed to understand what motivates people like him. The American dream does not exist. What exists is a need. It's a forced migration. When he tried to reach the U.S. on the roof of an infamous Mexican train known as La Bestia, he fainted from hunger and exhaustion and got caught beneath the wheels. I looked at my trapped leg. I tried to take it out with my arm. And the train also tore off my arm. Hernandez returned to Honduras, where he formed the Association for Returned Migrants with Disabilities, which educates people about the dangers of migrating. The association has documented more than 700 Hondurans mutilated by the train and nearly 400 killed in the last six years alone. But migrants keep coming. Migration will stop only when our countries truly generate employment opportunities with fair wages. Hernandez is visiting the U.S. with the hope of speaking with President Obama. He thinks only the U.S. can convince the Honduran government to enact healthy economic policies that will decrease violence and stop Hondurans from risking their lives to reach the U.S. Central American countries, whether we want it or not, are puppets of the United States. They dance to the rhythm of whatever music this country plays. He says the current U.S. strategy of sending money for Mexican customs to boost enforcement along the southern border is only increasing injuries and fatalities by forcing his countrymen onto more dangerous routes. He says more customs officials and longer fences won't deter migrants for the same reason dismemberment doesn't deter them. Because for them, it's currently a matter of life and death. Jean Guerrero, KPBS News.